The goal of this tutorial is to give a brief overview of STAR UML2, which is a uh, tool for creating UML models. UML stands for Unified Modeling Language. So the uh, interface for STAR UML has four main uh, areas to it. There are actually a few other areas, but four that I'm concerned with. The Model Explorer over here, Editors down here, the View, Model View, this region, this graphical window here, and then the Toolbox over here. The most important is the Model Explorer. Right now you see that it says Agent Engine. That's the name of a project, and this little cube is the icon for a project. And if I expand this, we see that there are several folders in the project, ABS and Model. Model has a funny little icon in it. That icon indicates that this package contains a model. I'm not sure that that distinction is worth making. Uh, if I expand that, we'll see that model contains platform, FC, and PDT. Uh, platform is a, uh, is a model for an agent-based platform. Uh, FC uh, is an application based on that platform called Fight Club. And PDT is another application built on the platform. It stands for Prisoner's, Develop Prisoner's Dilemma Tournament, I think. And then there's this green icon, main. That is a view of the model. And if I click on that, we get uh, this, this image here, which has always been up. This is a UML diagram. Uh, modern versions of UML, UML 2.0, emphasizes the model, the logical structure of the model, which we see over here, over these diagrams, which are just views of the model. This particular diagram is showing, for example, that the FC package and the PDT package depend on, that's what these little dashed arrows mean, the platform package. In other words, they use stuff that's defined in the platform package. There's another uh, model over here, ABS, which stands for Agent-Based System. And it has a diagram I can click on, too. And we see uh, this is a, a class diagram. Let's explore some of these others. So I'm going to expand platform. Uh, inside of platform dispatcher age, let's bring up the view of the platform model. So here's a class diagram. And this is just a picture showing the relationships of the classes, dispatcher, agent, and agent factor, factory. That, uh, that are inside of this package. Fight Club, notice, has multiple diagrams in it. Okay, uh, and that's just telling us, what that's telling us is that, uh, is that a, a model could have many different views. Uh, so the diagrams in UML 2.0 are just views of the underlying model. Again, something worth... Uh, Something worth emphasizing. ABS diagram over here. Uh, all of these class diagrams, let's say I thought the Fight Club diagram looked the most interesting. Never mind what the diagrams mean. We'll cover this later on. When you bring up a diagram like this, uh, over here, uh, the toolbox is immediately populated with tools for editing class diagrams. UML is a system of about 11 different diagrams, so we're going to expect about 11 different toolboxes here. Uh, if, for example, I, um, I right mouse click on FC and add a, um, let's add a use case diagram. Okay, then over here, we see that we have um, UML elements that typically appear in a use case diagram. So, actors, use cases, actor associations, that sort of thing. And you can see that these things have now been added to the Fight Club package. Uh, if I click on, let's go back here to, I think, main. If I click on any particular element in a diagram, or I can click on the same element over here, uh, Fighter Factory, 
Okay, what appears down here uh, on the editor is a, a property sheet for the selected item, in this case, Fighter Factory. If I expand Fighter Factory, here is a method called make agent. I select that. Now we see the property sheet for make agent. I can edit this property sheet and add uh, properties to the thing or change properties, delete properties, that sort of thing. So I think that's about it. Of course, we've got the menus here. Oh, I forgot to mention uh, this actually is a feature that I find more annoying than anything else, but let's see if I can actually even find the feature. Um, and well, maybe it's changed now. Uh, the editors, there is also like a, di a diagram properties as well here, but I'm not seeing those here. So uh, that's good. That's it for now. And um, thanks for listening.